What's going on, Baller fans? We're back with another episode of On the Ground Level with your groundskeeper, Tim Siegel. Hope everybody's having a great holiday season. Today, we're gonna go over resetting our base pegs and making sure our bases are lined up correctly. And today, we're gonna do first base. First, you're gonna wanna sweep out any conditioner that you have around in the area. You wanna make sure you have some good moisture. You don't want the ground to be too hard while you're digging down there to get it up. Luckily today, I've got some decent moisture with the frost and the rain that we've had in the last few days. We've got our measuring tape out here to make sure that we are 90 feet from where we need to be. As you can see, I've got a string line that goes from the apex of the plate down to the foul pole. And then I've got another one that is run through the back of the bag at first base down to the center of the bag at second base. Now that we have our measurements correctly in place, it's time to dig up our base anchor. All right, so we went ahead and we dug it out. We finally got down to our base, which we call our base anchor down here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty low to the ground. We're pretty down in here. Um, this cause is caused from laser grading. Uh, when you add infield mix in here and whatnot, it goes down. So we laser graded mid-season last year. So it raised it up a little bit. We weren't able to raise the base pegs. Uh, didn't cause any major issues, but there's always a safety hazard that you could have um, if your base pegs are too low. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the base in just so you kind of get an idea as to how low we were. So as you can see, we're pretty low here. With all the infield mix that was in there, it was holding the base up a little bit, but we weren't in the anchor completely. It just needed to be raised up. This isn't what we want, so we're gonna go ahead and fix this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the base off. I'm gonna take the anchor out. And we're gonna go ahead and fix the problem. And there's your base anchor. It's basically a concrete block with a roughly seven to eight inch anchor inside of it. Um, that's how it stays into place. We're gonna go ahead and fill this hole in now, pack it down, make it nice and level, and make sure that we have a good uh, base anchor for the season. All right, so we took our base anchor out. We filled in the hole a little bit to kind of level ourselves out. Um, now we're just gonna go ahead and run the measurement. I've got my measuring tape set up for uh, measuring starting at one foot. So this should say 91 feet for 90, which we are right here at the back corner of the bag. Remember, you're always measuring to the back corner of the bag. It's 90 feet to the back corner, not the front corner. That's a little bit of a misconception uh, when people think about measurement. So it's 90 feet from the apex of the plate to the back corner of the bag. We've got our 90 there. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of make sure we're level with the ground here with our base peg and we're level. We're just about perfect on height. We're gonna go ahead and throw these nails in that are gonna act as anchors to hold it in place as we fill in with the rest of the infield mix, tamp it down and take a look at the finishing product. All right, Baller fans, we filled it in. Everything's ready to go. Let's go ahead and put the base in now and see what we look like. We're down, we're flush, base ain't going anywhere. We're ready to go for April 8th. 